It is red, it is Italian. It's not the kind of Italian car that I would drive in red. It's a Fiat 500X. So this has recently been updated. This is the updated version of the Fiat 500X. We've got it in a few variants. We've got the Cross, we've got the Sport, and we've got the extended soft top. So today we're in the Cross, and Fiat has done a thing or two in here in upgrading this car. Firstly, the front has been updated. You've got these new daytime running LED lights that are in the shape of the Zero in the 500. So that's pretty cool. They've made it a lot more masculine. You've got bigger wheels in this. You've got 18 inch wheels. In the sports variants, you've got 19 inch wheels. So this is the kind of car I could see myself driving around in. And I'm interested to know your thoughts. Would you drive this? What do you think of the updated version? In the meantime, let's go see what's in the interior. So we're in the cockpit now, but I don't know how to say cockpit in Italian. So what they've changed here is the steering wheel. It looks a lot more butch, a lot more masculine in the inside as well. It's got a seven inch touchscreen now with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto for smartphone mirroring. It's got two USB ports and the overall feel and quality of this is slightly elevated. We've got a combination of crock material in the seats with um, feels like an artificial leather in my opinion. And as a guy that's not the shortest guy in the world, I do sometimes feel a little cramped in this car. I mean, this is the bigger Fiat 500. You've got the 500 and you've got the X in here. And this is supposed to be the bigger car. It's supposed to feel more spacious, but it does feel a little cramped at times. Okay, so let's talk about the engine in this car and how it drives on the road. Fiat has retained the 1.4 litre turbo engine in this. It's got 103 kilowatts and 213 newton meters of torque. So what that translates to on the road is a car that handles fairly well on the road. It's got enough Vuma to do what it needs to do, but my only gripe with this is the gearbox. So it's got a dual clutch transmission, and even previously, before the facelift, that gearbox has never been the best. It says 230 k's an hour on the speedometer, but I think the Italians were a bit ambitious when they put that on there. This is more of a city runabout. I'm gonna go buy bread, milk, drop the kids off at school. This is the car to do it in. It's very economical as well, fuel-wise, so that's really, really good. And I've enjoyed my time in this. Aside from the gearbox issues, this is a really, really cool car to be seen in. Fiat has done a good job design-wise. Perfecto. I think that's how you say perfect in Italian. Obviously, Gugu's Garage is proudly brought to you by and sponsored by Change Cars. So if you're looking for a Fiat 500X or a competitor, go on to changecars.co.za. Have a look, you'll find any car that you're looking for. And the nice thing about Change Cars is that it's the most trusted online car buying platform in the country. You're not gonna get scammed. 